I just arrived at Nouvelle Orléans and it looks like a swamp. I'm currently searching for a hotel. I'm staying here for 10 days and meeting up with my team, plus doing the filming during the final three days. But I know nothing about this area, save for some basic research I did in the airport. The city's in a, a swampy area in Louisiana. The hotel is nice with a nice view of the entire area. I am on a toaster oven. I should get to cooking eggs on the sidewalk thinking about that. Wow, that was a wonderful sleep I had. Who knew a simple AC is all the area needed. Also, thank heavens for the swamp nearby, or else we would see temperatures in the blazing 40s rather than the 30 average. Wait, the bus just stopped. I really gotta go now. The swamp is part of an area in the Mississippi River Delta, which explains both the city's and the swamp's state of being, moist. This city will be the first to go once the rising sea levels get bad enough. This area has some wonderful music and cuisine, the suburbanization in the area really took a hit on the city during the 60s, and the city has sadly only started recovering from this less than 10 years ago. Even worse, the swampy area and the low-income area are almost solely made up of African-American people. The city has somehow become a LGBTQ hotspot. The hotel I'm staying at, the Pontchartrain Hotel, is also a tourist area. Once I visit this swamp, I might make a trip to the low-income community to see their side of the story. I see the swamp nearby, so I will need to go now. Bye. I just got an interview with the guy. He said not to record his face because of what could happen to him. That the city is like this because of unchecked urban sprawl. I spent too much time at the park, and I loved every second of it. The attractions, the walking, the groves, everything. Nothing was better than riding a roller coaster or other cart rides and seeing the entire city. For now... I need to walk to my hotel. Decided to head to the Mid-City Library. It just shows you the unique architecture the city has. Okay, the city has a tendency to flood. See you at the 30-minute left mark. So, update. I have a map, and I was able to divide the map into sectors, creating this nice map with a legend. Okay, so the meeting's today, and they are preparing so many lobsters in the meeting room. For now, I need to run for the lobster before it's all gone. I found this small area called Fort St. John, and it is the perfect little area to research. While obviously a doctor or medical person would pay the most, I also want to look at the general environment. I'll take out the paycheck variable, so I only look at conditions and quality of life. In terms of income, it is considerably less than in the place where I live. Even the nurses do not make as much as I expected. There is a case of many unique jobs in this specific region due to the environment, like a border patrol agent. Wait, what? That is a horrible job. Ship construction and repair. Sounds fun. I know. Maria Hotels Fuck is wanting to hire bro. more cooks. There is also a power plant trainer job. Sorry, what was that? No wonder people left the city in the past. Seems like there are not enough job opportunities here anymore besides the usual water business. With all of the culture and things this city was known for, I was expecting to find more job listings. I was really expecting to find a fisher's assistant on there. I mean... Uh, imagine exploring a vast green liquid, searching for food with your net and a trusty compact boat. The area does have many universities, even though most are in the high-income area. In fact, if you live in the western part of the city, you're screwed over and start off with a bad chance. Okay, so some important things I got from the interviews. The city seems to be a yin-yang situation. They have some of the most wonderful cultures and communities, but... The city also suffers from crime and poverty rates as a result of the former decade. The eastern part of the city suffers the most from the problems, and a clear border of city growth is noted there. Severe natural disasters do not help either. Now, I think that my streetcar that I'll take to a diner with my friends is almost here, so I'll have to go. See you in the cold chair. Yes, it's time. We get to do whatever we want. Now I want to see some of the street music, food, and buildings. There are very few streetcars in the network, so I'm happy to go out of the way to ride on them again. If I see anything nice, I'll be sure to record it. Okay, so dinner seems to be taking a while to prepare. The city view is nice, though. The unique buildings are a result of the multiple cultures imported to the area combined. I actually kind of want to move here. As much fun as the city is, the crime rate would scare me to stay here for a long time. I will come back here again, though, but the problems this area has as a safe city prevent me from living here for too long. Their food is unlike anything I've had before. That was so fun, though. Not like the cool, pearly curves in the library I went to. The fishing part, though. One of the fishers had this huge net full of live shrimp. We were even lucky enough to see one of the nearby ships catch this huge base fish. 
I already mentioned my experience at the park before. For one, the time between the city and the swamp is scary. Some buildings are located right next to the swamp, mainly due to how murky and dark the area is compared to the bright and colorful buildings. There are so many houses just clustered together, just grids of the same looking houses with the only way around with a car. The people on the streets are friendly though, even with the problems. With this place as a city and as an area, Nouvelle Orleans does a great job. Everything looks so much more vibrant when I am happy. The city looks so different actually in it rather than from the view. While some areas look like a colorful version of older Spain with their flat walls and patios, others have different designs, like the curvy library that I was at. If you don't know where to go through, you can get lost in the city's many suburban grids. The area might be a swamp, but I could feel the lush green grass. The slender width oak tree grove with so many beautiful trees was in front of my field of view. I should have taken more photos. The mesh of nature directly contrasted with the human-created art of the city created a border. Sadly, not many people had dogs, as many of the jobs here do not pay well. The park reaches the horizon at my angle, making the benches in the area a nice area to relax. It might just be a park bench, but I can see a lot about the city. While the highway splitting parts of the city and the skyscrapers make it clearly a city of the United States. The styles of the French, Spanish, and the U.S., have merged here to create something beautiful. Some parts of the city can look completely different from areas only miles away from it. There are other examples I can think of. One of my friends told me about this one area with a gray brick road and a house with small windows, reminding her of France. 